The next place we go when we look at low testosterone is what medications are you taking? It's very common for blood pressure medication to destroy testosterone. SSRIs or antidepressants can really wreak havoc with your libido. Now, there are antidepressants that will work for you if you need them that will have less effect on your libido. It requires exploration, it requires trial and error, it requires a doctor willing to take the time to find the right medication that will leave your sex life intact. It is not unheard of for doctors to use drugs like Wellbutrin, Adderall, or even Viagra, Cialis, or Levitra, or Stendra to help increase libido. These drugs, especially the PDE5 inhibitors or the oral ED medications, work in a really interesting way. What we find is that guys who take the oral medications for erectile dysfunction on a regular basis end up with their penis hanging a little bit fuller, a little more responsive, they're just aware of their penis a lot more than they normally would be. They also wake up in the morning with erections. All of these things add up to guys being a little more aware of and a little more connected to their penis. This connection often results in guys just having a better libido. Therapeutic treatment for low libido is really not that difficult. Again, the problem often is if you have a partner who's not getting as much affection, connection, or touch as they would like. Now, I get the fact that intercourse and arousal and erections all the way to ejaculation, that requires a lot of stamina, a lot of libido, a lot of energy, and a lot of arousal, and a really pretty good functioning body. What most people want, especially if you're having sex with a woman, is intimacy, connection, feeling valued, feeling loved, feeling desired, all those wonderful things. Believe it or not, guys, you don't need an erect penis to get that accomplished. The foundation of the work that we do when it comes to therapeutic treatment for lib low libido is just touch. I have couples schedule massages. Listen, even if you don't have a great libido, you can still enjoy touching your partner. I tell guys all the time, get the coconut oil, get her naked, get on the bed, give her a great, wonderful, sensuous, loving massage. Even if you have no interest in orgasm or ejaculation or erection or intercourse, you can still care for your partner by giving them a loving massage. Even if your libido is low, you can enjoy getting a massage. You may not need a happy ending or an orgasm at the end, but you can enjoy the touch. Once we practiced this several times, we discovered that these are really pleasant and bonding experiences. And guys, this kind of massage is great sex. It's just in our culture we think sex has to be intercourse. I do have a lot of patients who can get erections and, a, and can function perfectly fine sexually. They just have a low libido and no sex drive to use it. In this case, we have what we call gift sex or just do it. This is about guys who, they don't mind sex, it just doesn't occur to them to have sex. In this case, I say we just plan it, we make time for it, and we have sex even if we don't have that burning desire to have intercourse. We can still function, we still discover Oh, we can perform, we have a great time. This is especially true for men who have prostate cancer treatments and have testosterone oblation therapy or testosterone uh, deprivation. And many times these treatments totally destroy a guy's libido, but they can still get erections. Having low libido also in some ways opens the door to expand your sexual expression. For a lot of guys, they don't mind sex, it's okay, they just don't have the libido. And even if you don't get the erections, it's a chance to let's try other things. Who knows? This is a time you might discover she likes to get tied up or blindfolded or something. All these things don't rely on an erection. Just start playing with each other and exploring.